These are my favorite kind of Olo. Okay, maybe not my favorite, but they are super fun. They're hefty serve and store interlocking everyday bowls. New sealed 20 pack. Ah, do you love it? I love it. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Let's talk about bolos that sold in May. Big money or unexpected bolo items that my Bolo Buddies Facebook members shared under this post. So basically what I do is I post this in my Facebook group and I invite the members of the group to share a bolo item. So we are gonna get started here with some big money bolos. The first one comes from it was designs by Josie. She changed her YouTube channel to In the Life of a Reseller, and this is what it looks like. She picked this up for a dollar at an auction and sold it for $85.50. It says, um, let's see. She said, but if you count the rest of the items that I got with it, this cost me 25 cents. So that is even better, right? It is a vintage brother Intellifax paper fax machine working with the owner's manual. This one comes from Mom Knows Treasures, another Bolo Buddies member. She does not have a YouTube channel, so this is her eBay store, Mom Knows Treasures. And she is a Bolo finder, but I think she's gonna start playing around with YouTube. So if she does, I will link that down below. And I'm guessing it's gonna probably be her channel name as well, but not sure. So keep, I will keep you posted on that. Online auction purchased a huge bale pallet of linens for $80. So had about a dollar or two in each item. This sold for $80 on Mercari. This was basically all profit since I've sold several items from the palette already and have made all my money back. It's a pinwheel quilt cream peach color twin double bed and it's fluffy. This is what it looks like. Got it at my local animal rescue thrift store. Paid $3, sold in five days, took an offer of $155 plus shipping and handling. It is America spelled differently. Five VHS box set. This is what it looks like. Not $155 on that one. Okay, I love this next one. Bought this at the Goodwill for $1.99. It's still got nine and a half days left on the auction. And it was currently at $265. I think this went for crazy money. Um, I'm going to try to get an update before I post the video, but this is what it looks like. Um, I'll try to get the screenshot of the actual sold, but if not, when they posted this, it was at 265. One in an online auction for $5. It sold within a week for full price. Ruslan Easter eggs from Eastern Slovakia, hardcover book vintage 1987, sold for $100. Won it at an online auction for $5 and sold within a week for full price. I bought this Wedgwood Texas University plate for a dollar at the Goodwill. I listed it for $550. I sold it in less than a week for best offer of $450 plus shipping. So it is a, um, it's like a commemorative uh, plate. $450. Oh my gosh. Do you guys feel like you would have walked right past it? <gasps> I think I might have. Um, wow. Wow, wow. She said, I just... Uh, printed the shipping label and realized it's going to the state senator. She's like, the pressure. <laughs> that is cool. Paid 15 last Friday, sold in three days. $675. Wow. It is um, Stomper. It's blurry. Is it? Let's see. Hold on. Stopper, Kentworth, and other car collection. Hopefully you guys can see it. I'm zoomed in, so it makes it a little bit blurry, but that's what it looks like. It looks like they're uh, model cars. Got at my local Humane so Society thrift store for a dollar, listed for 94, and took a best offer of $80. Sold in about a day. It is a Robert Graham um, Cran Scribble Art print shirt, button up. Super cute. And vintage 1980s G.I. Joe Real gear fishing strike teams kid medium camo vest i don't know if this is some type of um costume type deal 49.99 on this one got both of these let's see it says got both of these vests at the goodwill bins on the same day for nearly nothing hard to know the exact amount i paid since it's weighed by shopping cart and had me pay a price for all but my cost per item that day was well under a dollar each both sold for full asking price 
One was priced for less because of the condition. And here's the other one that sold for 40. So those are definitely a fun item. Never seen anything like that. I bought this mag or manga like 10 years ago at an anime con when I was trying to collect the series. I paid about nine bucks or so for it. I sold it for 120 plus shipping. It says fruits basket volume English first print rare. This is what it looks like. That some of that anime stuff can definitely be big money. Bought for $2 at an overpriced estate sale. Listed on a three-day auction for $99 start. Lowered to $79 on day two with tons of watchers. It ended up selling for $79.95. It is an ultra-rare Chuck E. Cheese showbiz pizza time ashtray. Bought at a local antique shop for $1. Sent an offer for $50 after about three to four weeks. It is this vintage traffic light glow-in-the-dark. Um, it's a pull chain fan. It's like for a closet. You know, the pull down, that is funny. It's like a fob. Um, I thought it was a necklace at first. I think I paid $2.99 a piece at Goodwill for the pair of Japanese vases last year. I listed them for $350, then dropped the price to $315 and took a best offer of $300. Took about a month to sell. They are a pair of vintage Japanese cloisonne um, with Mark Akagi, maybe? Looks like that. New Epson printer was picked up from Facebook Marketplace for free. Wow, free. It was an open box item with no ink. I took a best offer of $175 and it sold within a week. Paid approximately $0.50 cents at the Goodwill bins by weight. Sold it on auction for $92. It is a cross stitch. It is a gold collection collectible. Um, Dimensions Gold Collection Cross Stitch Kit 3769 Her Majesty Carousel. I've shared this as a single post. But I picked it up in a large collection, 70-ish, of origami books last fall for $10 at a church thrift store. So I technically had like less than 20 cents into this. Several books are very niche and or Japanese market only. This had zero comps on WorthPoint or Terapeak. But there was one listed for like 700 on Amazon. Wow. So I listed it at 500 with offers. Dropped the list price a little by month and got 225 shipped at the beginning of May. So this is what it looks like. Bought this at St. Vincent de Paul for $3. Took about three weeks, but sold for full asking plus shipping. It is a Nordic Ware Stump de Noel cake pan 3D baking bunt cast aluminum Christmas gold. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Found a complete 1980s era Apple II computer system and floppy disks on the side of the road. So zero cost of goods. Sold most of the floppy disks already and the monitor and even the Apple logo medallion. I pulled off the printer, which was merely five and eighths inch little aluminum square. And it went for $9 plus shipping on Mercari. Total sales so far are $213.96. Still have more parts to list. I recently bought a lot of menus and some very, uh, some were very valuable. I made a video about it and that my mom watched. We were at an, oh, okay. I'm like, I don't understand. Okay, so she made a video, her mom watched it. We were at an antique mall and she found this little three by five, eight page souvenir cookbook from Ruby's Chow's, a Chinese restaurant in Seattle. It was $2, I looked at it but put it down. After walking around the whole place, I didn't find one thing, so I went back and grabbed it. Turns out the Bruce Lee worked there as a waiter and lived in the attic in the same era. Wow. I put it on auction for 35, which was the top price according to WorthPoint. I got several offers and took an offer for 400 the day after the auction started, delivered and positive feedback. 400 bucks. Okay, so WorthPoint I know it's kind of pricey and I didn't do it for a long time, but here is another example of WorthPoint paying off. If you guys are not using WorthPoint and you're considering it, I do have a referral link down in the description. Definitely check it out. I pay by the year because um, it's a little cheaper than paying by the month. That's just what I recommend. I'm kind of thrifty, you know, we're resellers, we're thrifty. So I'm always trying to save money. So I just do the yearly thing and it has made me so much money. I have a couple, two or three videos on how WorthPoint has made me money. Um, I like to, when I use products, show you guys how it's working for me. 
Um, so check out some of those videos. This one comes from Jody over at Toy Attic. If you have not seen her YouTube channel, definitely check her out. She is amazing. Um, and the video is called Vintage Menu Haul and What Menus Sell For on eBay. So uh, yeah, go check her out. And this one, I had a few, but this was unexpected, an unexpected bolo. I bought a little baggie of brooches, mostly Christmas at a yard sale that were marked $3. It was toward the end of the day and I got it for $1.50. Was looking through them the night and found a little cat brooch that had a name on it. It wasn't until then that I realized it was a bolo. I sold it in a few days for 85. There was about 10 brooches for the $1.50, so paid about 15 cents. It was signed Jean Cocteau, ooh, C-O-C-T-E-A-U. I don't know how to pronounce that, but anyway, this is what it looks like. Very cool. Purchased at a local boutique for 75, spent 60 on authentication, sold for 600 Gucci women's boots. Check them out, booties. How cool is that? That's fantastic. Um, bought this set of encyclopedias from a local Salvation Army thrift store for $7.50 a few weeks ago. Took a best offer of $229 plus buyer paid shipping. Was three giant boxes, but they went media mail. Definitely a bolo. Encyclopedia Britannica 1978 15th edition complete 30 volume. You know who else sells a bunch of these encyclopedias and such is Terry over at Mindful Recycle. She has a YouTube channel. It looks like this. She is a Bolo Buddies member and she is a big money Bolo finder. I recently just featured her um, eBay store in a video. It looks like this. Definitely go check it out because she is a Bolo finder. Channel is amazing. All right. This one comes from eBay store Leo's Treasures. Um, she said, I got this eight inch Manhattan toy hand puppet from the Goodwill bins. It costs approximately 70 cents. It sold in less than a day for full asking price of $54.75 in the buyer paid shipping. It's a chicken or a rooster and it's a hand puppet. Not exactly a flip percentage wise, but I sold this Futurama DVD set in the Bender's head case for $425 last week. Originally paid 80 for it at Costco about 10 years ago and never opened it, never displayed it. Pulp culture stuff has brought me some good returns, especially unopened items. So it's Futurama DVD complete set. That is fantastic. Wow. Wow, wow. Not my best bolo, but it is a good one. I love selling Bibles. Picked this up at a yard sale for a dollar, sold in less than a week for full asking price of $37. Came with a Bible cover that is listed for $13. The Bible does have a little bit of damage on the front cover, and I listed it a little bit cheaper than the other ones. It's a Holy Bible from the Ancient Eastern Text by George M. Lam Lamsa. Lamsa? That's what it looks like. Um, this one comes from Mom's Nose Treasures, and here is her eBay store. Yard sale, $5, had it listed for 75, took a best offer of six, uh, I'm sorry, took a best offer of 50 plus 2405 shipping. It is an MCM all black vintage Scotty cookie jar and it is stamped. That's what it looks like. She said, uh, Mercia of California produced castware ceramics in Los Angeles from the late 1950s through most of the 1960s. Complex glazes were a hallmark. This wasn't a complex glaze, but highly glazed just black. So that's a little additional information there for you. A place called Faith Center, $1.99 I paid, had it up for $35. I sold last or two last year for $40 each, took a $30 offer on this. Crazy, right? It's throwaway plates. These are my favorite kind of bolo. Okay, maybe not my favorite, but they are super fun. They're hefty serve and store interlocking everyday bowls. New sealed 20 pack. Do you love it? I love it. Okay, one more here and then um, we will end this one. Again, this is going to be a three part series. So stay tuned for part three and check out part one. Paid about 75 cents for this at an auction was new old stock sold in a few days. I've sold other pencil sharpeners as well. So always pick them up when I can. It is a vintage Boston Ranger 55 pencil sharpener, adjustable guide point adjuster, sold for $56 plus shipping. 
All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. There's gonna be some videos popping up here and here and a subscribe and another video down here. I would love for you guys to check out another video. My channel is based basically about bolo items, items to be on the lookout for. So um, I hope that you'll stick around and subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, tell me how you found the channel. Um, even if you've been here a long time, tell me how you found the channel and leave me a hat emoji in the comments. Thanks for watching.